coming up. Watch out, AI. Sam's coming for your job. Uh, no, actually. I'm more than a foot smaller than you. You know, when you make eye contact, I feel the same height as everyone. Whoopee, I really want to get my teeth into this. And that when, I'm afraid, is now. <laughs> You've got this. We want to hear it now. Big, bold, beautiful, in your face. I love the way this is going, I have to say. Don't have a breakdown on me, Sam. I'm nervous. I'm sweating. What are you guys doing to me? And now, enjoy the podcast. How do you say that? How do you say that? How do you say that? How, How do, do you, you say, say that? that? Hello and welcome to today's episode of How Do You Say That? Sponsored by BritishVoiceOver.co.uk. This is Mark Rice. Hello and this is Sam Boffin. Yeah, hello. And every week we and a very special guest set out to prove that there is more than just one way to read a script. So if you use a mic professionally as a voiceover artist, director, actor or podcaster, then this hopefully is the podcast for you. Yes, let's hope so. And today's fun fact, I do love a fun fact about Mark, <laughs> is that he uses a flower in the shower. Well, no, no, I, not a flower in the shower, a shower flower, like a, like a shower oh, puff. I call it a shower flower. A you shower know, you know, flower. the thing that you put the lather all over your body with. I realise oh, that's too much information. It is too much information. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I find you don't use as much shower gel if you do that than if you just put it in your hands. Absolutely fascinating. <laughs> Dragging up those fun <laughs> facts now. Well, my co-host is Sam Boffin, who used to work as a changing room attendant in Miss Selfridge. I oh, did. I see. I bet you saw a few things. I did see a few things. And do you know what I saw? A lot of tattoos. A lot of <gasps> oh. tattoos. A lot of big tattoos and a lot of spiders on people's oh. backs. Which I was quite surprised about, actually. <laughs> you know, but anyway. Well, of course, we also have a special guest who this week is voice actor Scott Chambers. Hello, Scott. Hello, it's uh, lovely to be here. Oh, it's <laughs> lovely to have you along. Uh, Sam, let's find out a bit more about Scott, shall we? Absolutely. So Scott has lent his voice to some of the most trusted global brands, including AT&T, Burger King, Coca-Cola and many others. And in addition to commercials, he specialises in radio imaging and promos and can be heard on a number of radio stations in North America as their imaging voice. Indeed he can. He's also an accomplished live announcer and host for clients including NASCAR, United Airlines and NGPA, as well as host, of course, of voiceover conferences like VO Atlanta and uh -huh. the One Voice Conference in Dallas, Texas, and of course, last year in London, UK. Living far outside of major hubs like LA and New York, Scott prefers to take the small town, big career approach. He lives in Perdido Key in Florida. That sounds amazing, Scott. And he enjoys Definitely. spending time with family, flying aeroplanes, boating, relaxing on the beach and world travel. Wow. It's all going on. A, oh, it is all going on. Have you got a fun <laughs> fact that you can share with us, Scott? Yeah, so fun fact, I have knocked myself unconscious on three different continents <laughs> because I'm so <laughs> dang tall. Um, it's not no. that I get drunk and stumble <gasps> around. It's just no one builds things tall enough for me. I'm wow. six foot seven. Six foot wow. seven? Yeah. I would Good have guessed grief. six foot five. But six wow. foot seven is like, that's huge, isn't it? Wow. wow. Yeah. Give me credit for those extra inches, please. <laughs> When did you hit six foot seven? How, how old were you? You know, it's funny. Um, I did not actually hit six foot seven until I was 23 years old. I wow. kept growing after the age of 18. And so Whoa. every year we'd go to the doctor for a checkup and he's like, yeah, you're getting a little taller. But finally, <laughs> I, I capped out at about 23. That's amazing. That is amazing. It really is. Uh, well, on that tall bombshell, let's have a look at the first script of the show and ask, how do you say that? How do you say that? So this is something I've been working on recently, and um, I brought it along because I knew that we'd all love it. Absolutely. Uh, well, there are two versions here, Sam. There are two versions. It's a piece of audio drama, mm -hmm. and it's a piece from uh, a monologue, actually, which is uh, uh, this particular audio drama. In fact, there are lots of characters in it, but um, uh, the, the person that does the monologue, in this case it was me, you, I played every character in it. Right, okay. But this, I, I didn't, I, I was going to bring a bit with dialogue in it, and I thought, no, that's actually a step too far. So um, <laughs> I didn't do that. But what I did do was I created a, a, a male version out of my yep. female version, as it were. So actually, you're I saying thought it would be, he's a yeah. good father, and we will say she's a good mom. She's a good mom. Okay. Yeah, yeah. or mom, depending on how or you mom. want to exactly say it. Or mom, exactly right. Like, yeah. I, yeah. No problem with that. But yeah, because I thought actually it was a real, it was really tricky for you to um to be able to yes. kind of approach it if it wasn't and and it's all about her husband so in your case it's all about your wife 
Although, to be fair, as a gay guy, I would be happy to read He's a Good oh, Father, yeah, interestingly. I guess. So it would work from that perspective. But thank you for writing the male version. Yeah. Oh, well, well, there you go. There you go. <laughs> I'm glad there are two different versions because it, mm. it will show us something quite different about this. Yep. What kind of character? So obviously it doesn't, doesn't matter which mm. gender they are, but what kind of character were we talking about? She is, and this is something we decided between me and uh, the writer and director, we decided that she was in love with her husband, but he had a habit <laughs> that was a real problem in their relationship. Oh. Well, that leaves it open, Scott, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so she's sort of defending him all the way through, oh. but at the same time, um, uh, yeah, she's having to come to terms with either staying or going. Okay. Scott, any questions that you'd like to ask Sam before we have a go at it? Yeah. What kind of habit does the guy have? <laughs> you went right for it. It's such a banal habit that it doesn't really matter because it could be any habit oh. at all. But it's a really banal habit, in fact, but it just is something that is causing a really, really big problem in their relationship. It's He's not having an affair or anything like that. It's a, it's a kind of... Um, uh, well, all right. Then I will say he can't stop washing his hands. Okay, oh, okay. that makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> okay, from, from he cannot stop washing his hands. So this is kind of a monologue to the doctor. He's talking to a doctor here, yeah, like a psychiatrist. Uh, no, oh. actually. But again, that was a discussion that we had. Um, no, it's like a confessional. Okay, and it's a sort of internal monologue. Well, an external right, okay. internal monologue, Makes should sense. I say. Makes but sense. you could just as easily be talking to a psychiatrist or, mm. or, or, mm. or, or a, a health practitioner or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'll have a go first, Scott. Then let's see where we go. Well, I don't know quite where I'm going to take this. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. <sighs> She's a good mom. She's better with Sarah than I am. M much more patient. She'll read the same bedtime story over and over and do all the voices as if it's the first time. Never seems to get sick of it. It's nice to see her like that. Happy and comfortable like that. She's a good mum. She can do no wrong in her eyes. A good wife too, I suppose. Maybe, maybe I'm being silly. You wouldn't think you could hate the sound of running water, would you? <laughs> maybe it's me that has the problem. Doctor, I'm afraid of the sound of running water. Everyone's afraid of something. Aren't they? That was very contained. Yeah, very <laughs> contained. No, very nice. nice. It was nice. Yeah. What did you think, Scott? Beautiful job. Absolutely. It, it felt very natural. There was a sort of sadness to it. Um, yeah. Uh, 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 I felt that as I was it. doing it. Yeah, 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 sadness and desperation. That's kind of how I felt at the end of that. In, in very interesting. <laughs> but it's, it's a very well-written piece. Yes. It's written yeah. to be said out loud it is it is very definitely that's what i like about it yeah, yeah absolutely absolutely nice writer scott this i'm a fully aware just like your script is to me this is not necessarily something that you're going oh whoopee i really want to get my teeth into this <laughs> right exactly this is the type of script if my agent sends it over i you don't do swerve. the audition okay. i pass on it interesting okay <laughs> scott give it a go let's see what we get all right so I assume I have to do the male version, right? Well, you can choose, you don't have actually. To. That you actually, have to. I, 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 but, but yeah, I mean, whatever, whatever. We're tossing a coin here. Let's see. So th this is why I, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm sweating. What are you guys doing to me? <laughs> <laughs> you will have your day. I have, You'll the have confidence your day, in you. It's all good. <laughs> I will do this in promo and imaging style. How about that? Um, okay, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. She's a good mom. She's better with Sarah than I am. Much more patient. She'll read her the same bedtime story over and over and do all the voices as if it's the first time. Never seems to get sick of it. It's nice to see her like that, happy and comfortable like that. She's a good mom. She can do no wrong in her eyes. A good wife too, I suppose. Maybe I'm being silly. You wouldn't think you could hate the sound of running water, would you? Maybe it's me that has the problem. Doctor, I'm afraid of the sound of running water. <laughs> Everyone's afraid of something, aren't they? Oh, I that, that was had, great. Yeah, yeah, me too. It had, actually had a real kind of a humor in it, actually, yeah. a suppressed kind of believable humor. It was a <laughs> real, it was, well, it, had, it was a real guy kind of doing it, you know? It was a kind of 
<laughs> weirdly it was a kind of blokey read and and you'll see how it different was. it is therefore when when a woman reads it it's very interesting so that was super interesting i really liked that i yeah, it, it, again it was contained i think that that contained yeah, word yeah, that yeah. you use with me i thought that, that that was really nice but i believed the character yeah Absolutely. And surely that's the most important thing. It is. It was like, and this probably will resonate with you, Scott, it was like you you didn't really want to get the words out, like they were being dragged <laughs> out of you. But it that's exactly really right. worked. <laughs> exactly. It really it worked work. in the context. Yeah, yeah. Were you happy with it, Scott? No, I, I wasn't. And, and that's why I'm so shocked oh. to hear your comments, because oh, okay. if I were oh, directing someone, if I had actually cast that commercial or cast that script myself, I would be like, I need a second take because I didn't feel like you connected. <laughs> so oh, that was my, so my thoughts. Interesting. I think yeah, when you yeah. hear it back, Scott, you'll be pleasantly surprised. But I think we all get in our own heads every single day doing what we yeah. do. It's yeah. like, oh, I yeah. need to do a take two, yeah. take three, yeah. take four. Yeah. Oh, now yeah. they just all suck after that point. And how often do we then go back and choose the first take anyway? Always. True. Most, yeah. Always. Yeah. 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 Most of the yeah. time. Most of the time. Yeah. All right, Sam, let's have a listen to the way you did it. And I think by what you've said already, we're going to be surprised, are we? I don't know, actually. Uh, who knows? <laughs> it's just the way I did it. <laughs> <laughs> he's a good father. He's, he's better with Sarah than I am, much more patient. He'll read her the same bedtime story over and over, and do all the voices, as if it's the first time. He, he never seems to get sick of it. It's nice to see him like that. Happy and comfortable like that. He, he's a good dad. He can do no wrong in her eyes. A good husband too, I suppose. <laughs> Maybe I'm being silly. You wouldn't think you could hate the sound of running water, would you? <laughs> God, maybe it's me that's got the problem. <laughs> Doctor, I am afraid of the sound of running water. Everyone's afraid of something aren't they? Oh, there was a real level of anxiousness oh. there. I, I really felt it. Yeah, your connection was so beautiful. It was as if you had written the script yourself. Well, of course, that, well, thank you. But there, there, it is something that we, well, <laughs> I, I didn't write any of those words, but I did work with the writer um, in amazing. terms of that sort of characterization. You, you've got to really kind of stick to your guns when you've got a pause. Yes. You've got to oh, really yeah. kind of push yourself down to not fill it. I tell you the line that um, struck me most a good husband too I suppose mm. because it was really it was you could see almost the scales tipping in the head going mm. well um, actually I, I I need to really suggest that he is a good husband yeah but there's this niggling thing that you mentioned <laughs> that really annoys me about him yeah I, I heard that as well it was like I think he's a good husband but I'm really trying to convince myself yeah. that he's a good husband yeah, yeah. It, it, the whole of the piece and it's a sort of 15 20 minute piece the whole of the piece is her convincing herself to stay I think it's interesting that it's exactly what this podcast is about three very different ways yes of the same yeah. script coming out. I think that's lovely. Well, it is worthwhile yeah. remembering that these are real scripts we've been working on, but we've changed names and some details to avoid copyright issues. We have now, Scott, you brought something completely different here. Completely different, <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I do a lot of radio imaging and promo work, and so these are two recent scripts that I recently worked on uh, just last week, and so it starts out, um, have either one of you ever done radio imaging or promo? Yeah, so I've done some. I've done some radio imaging, uh, not really for Sam, but Sam, you do have a background in a bit of imaging, don't you? Well, my background is in promo, but that's TV promo and that's very different mm -hmm. in the UK yes. than it is in the States. So that's one thing. But I, what, what I used to do was create and devise and make TV idents, so visual idents. And of course, this is in effect, what this is, it's an audio ident for a station. Mm -hmm. So it, it, that, that's, that's what you do. So I did the equivalent on, on TV, but of course they don't tend to use voices on TV. They tend to use visuals and, um, you know, music. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and with each passing day, we get, um, a, it seems like we get more visuals and less voice in, yeah. in yes. promo work, even here, here in the yeah. States. Yep, yep. Both scripts one and two were both for radio stations and, okay. you know, it starts off kind of slow and then yep, yep. it picks up with, with each pace. As you notice, there are periods on the script indicating a slight yep. pause 
And then it really picks up and it ramps up by the end and you're giving away a, your share of a half million dollars. You know, you really <laughs> get pumped up by the end. Imaging is about creating excitement. And that's sometimes the difficult bit. Oh, 100%. Because you are the brand voice of the radio station. Mm -hmm. You are selling everything about that radio station. It's like you're the constant commercial for their brand. 24-7, 365. And yep. so, yeah, you're, you're totally selling that station with everything you do. The UK and the US has two very different ways of looking at this because radio imaging in the UK, although it's powerful, it's quite downbeat. Certainly in the radio that I've listened to in the US, it's still very upbeat. Yeah, it is very upbeat, but times are changing slightly. When, when I first started doing radio imaging, everything was the really loud sounding voice like that. Yeah. Yeah. Now yeah. it's just... Everyday guy next door type reads, even oh. on country radio, which used to okay. be the over the top, really big sounding grandpa voice. Now yes. my voice gets away on country music radio and, okay. and it works. Okay. They, they might use my voice on a CHR station and also on a country station. I'm going to suggest that Sam might like to have a go first at this. Absolutely. Because you're the least comfortable with this, Sam, really, aren't you? Of the three of us. My turn to feel slightly ill at ease. So, You've okay. got this. Okay. Let me give it a go. Remember, some of the best times of your life haven't happened yet. And this is one of them. Win $1,000 13 times a day. Claim your share of half a million dollars next. Grab the family, get out of town, and head to Disney. Family four packs of tickets every hour on the hour. Very nice. I could sense you were a bit uncomfortable, <laughs> oh but I yes. think it did come across... What I noticed there, Scott, right at the beginning, you began quite slowly there, Sam. And I think with imaging, there isn't necessarily time to begin slowly. There is on I'm some sure. things, but I'm sure. You would actually be surprised that script starts out very slow. So she Does did it? exactly, ah. exactly as she should have done. Well done. <laughs> nice. Well done. Oh, bless you. Bless you. But uh, I suspect... <laughs> was a bit weedy i could tell that you were really ramping it up and <laughs> and, and the ramping up <laughs> don't have a breakdown on me sam you can tell that the ramping up was just at the right point oh well yes let's let's claw what we can out of that <laughs> uh yeah okay, okay. <laughs> it worked so well because you were so ramped up from the first script see the uh... second script is it, it's 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 more fun light airy but yet upbeat and you were so upbeat from the ending of the first script, you went right into the second one, right. and it yeah. worked. It worked really it well. Okay. Well, thank you guys for being very <laughs> kind. Now, uh, so Mark. <laughs> Te the technical thing that make? I do with imaging, Sam, is yeah. I take a very big breath, and I assume that those lines don't have any breaths in them. Now, obviously, right. that can be cut out by the producer, but I tend to deliver it that way. I, I would love to be good at this. I'd love to have the ballsy kind of way of doing them but I, I i just i don't know yeah i just i'm gonna not... try and bring my butch energy back bring your butch energy you know you love it <laughs> bring it we love it all right remember some of the best times of your life haven't happened yet and this is one of them win a thousand dollars 13 times a day claim your share of half a million dollars next grab the family Get out of town and head to Disney. Family four packs of tickets every hour on the hour. Peter Dixon, you have the job. I mean, I'm afraid well yes, it, 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 did, it did stray a bit Peter Dixon-esque there, didn't it? I was Sorry, about Peter. to say, Peter Dixon, eat your heart out. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't oh even trying God. to go that direction there. But it, it was perfect. I'm intrigued because what you were saying before when we were talking about imaging is that there's almost like a, um, obviously, an, a presumably an enhanced um, kind of almost conversational feel. You were sort of saying that. Mm. And d d did, you, did you use that in these particular ones? Yeah, actually, I do. And if, if cool. I do these scripts, you will hear exactly how they aired and you will hear yes. slight well, conversational. OK, slight conversational yeah, because yeah, yeah, it's yeah. imaging in an America. It's still big, bold, beautiful in your face. Uh, yes. But yeah, there's a slight conversational element to them. Yeah, there's no if you do it, Scott. <laughs> there's when you do it. <laughs> <laughs> we want to hear it now. And that when I'm afraid is now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's give it a go then. Talk yes. Back. Remember. Some of the best times of your life haven't happened yet. And this is one of them. Win $1,000 13 times a day. 
Claim your share of a half million dollars next. Wow. wow. Oh, you see, I would so, be very comfortable with that. I'd be comfortable with doing that. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was saying. People yeah. get scared of imaging and pro thinking, oh my gosh, it's great. No, it's not. It's just, I started out a little slow with the remember. Some of the best yes. times of your yeah. life haven't. And then you ramp it up. So no, it's really, it's nothing to be afraid of. It's really wow. not. Okay, okay. Um, no. All right, script two. Now yeah. this yes. is where it changes. So I go from that, you know, grab a half million dollars next to, then I bring out the goofy guy next door type for, <laughs> for this promo. It's grab the family, get out of town and head to Disney. Family four packs of tickets every hour on the hour. Again, starts out slow and kind of ramps up. Interesting. It fe- it felt really relatable and personable and kind of yeah. You, it, I, I, I am so interested to hear the way you did those. And I have heard you do big booming uh, ideas. Right. Exactly. It's like the other end of the scale, isn't it? Well, yeah. That's what I call my cheesy guy next door read. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's it's really funny. But a lot of the stuff that I book, especially in commercial, is that relatable guy next door type stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And so that Disney promo or the, the family four pack ticket promo is it's that cheesy. Grab the family. Get out of town. You know, it's that yeah. cheesy sort of read, as I like to call it. We've had two other imaging specialists on the podcast over the last year. John Mundy, just a few weeks ago, who is the voice of LBC, which is one of the big news stations in this country, Scott. Um, And it's very newsy. And he used to be a news anchor. So it's a very newsy kind of style, but upbeat and in your face again. But also Rick Scott, who is the station voice of Greatest Hits Radio, a national radio station in the UK. Um, And that is very, he is very powerful with that. So it's interesting to see the differences between news in the UK and music in the UK and your, your, the way you approach it for the US. So the funny thing, Mark, is in the US, we love different voices on imaging and promo. If we can get someone from the UK to do a promo in the US, that really sells. We love that. It's not yeah. the same in the UK. You guys don't want American voices well, doing your promos. However, my goal before I die is to be a promo <laughs> voice in the UK. I know that's yeah. really weird. No, there are there are opportunities. You're right though. It's it's a it, but it's for a specific thing. So if they're going to do a season of I don't know, Steven Seagal films yeah, or something, yeah, if they're going to do yeah. a season that is yeah. that is relevant for an American voice or they want to, you know, make make a point with an American voice, they do use American voices, but you're right. And E4 does American voices if it's an American series. Absolutely. Very yeah, interesting. It does. Interesting. That is changing a lot, actually. Mm. Mm. There's far more variation these days um, in, in the voices that you hear on, on TV. So do not give up, Scott. You need That's to get your I agent onto that, Scott, right away. I do. <laughs> two markets I have not been able to crack is the UK uh, and Australia, two countries I really want to work in. And so that gives me hope. Thank you. What I was going to say, actually, before we move on, because I'm fascinated by this, is that you guys have mentioned... A lot of men that do uh, radio imaging yep. stuff. Yep. Uh, what is it like for women? Station voice of Radio 2. Yep. The other voice on Greatest Hits Radio, of course, is Dawn French. Yep. So there are lady voices that do imaging. Lady voices. Lady voices. <laughs> lady voices. Lady voices. There are lady voices that do um, imaging as well. It's not as yeah. prevalent, but it is mm. there in the UK market. Okay. And in the US, it's becoming uh, more and more common. Um, right. Actually, I think of three of the top imaging voices in the world are females. That would be okay. Kelly Doherty. Kelly, Kelly, Kelly yep. uh, was the imaging voice of Kiss FM Los Angeles, the current yep. voice of Z100 New York, uh, yep. Randy Thomas, and DeWig. Some really, really amazing voices at uh, Isa Lopez. But you're right. I mean, typically you're going to have male voices, but we're seeing a lot more women uh, voice radio stations. And I love it. I think it's a beautiful thing. Play. How do you say that? Let's head for the wild card bit, people. Oh, Let's yes. see if we can approach these scripts in a completely different way. Yay. Scott, do you want to pick one of the scripts for me and give me a character and an action or a motivation? Um, I do. And so this is going to be a really fun wild card. I assume I, I have to, to use one of, the scr- <laughs> one of the scripts I provided. No, no, no. Either Sam's script or one of your scripts. Oh, So you can, you can pick well, Sam's script and, and put, put your idea onto it. Yeah. Okay. So I think Sam's script will really work better for the wild card I'm going to pull out. So okay. um, how, about, how about you take Sam's script with a Southern American accent? <laughs> Let's hear that, oh. Mark. Yeah. I, I have a horrible feeling it might end up being like Yosemite Sam. <laughs> it's not going to be great. I know that. It's like, uh, oh, all right. Apologies in advance, all right? That's all I'm going to say. Yes. 
Oh, she's a good mom. She's better with Sarah than I am, much more patient. She'll read her the same bedtime story over and over and do all the voices. It's as if it's the first time. Never seems to get sick of it. It's nice to see her like that, happy and comfortable like that. She's a good mom. She can do no wrong in her eyes. Uh, a good wife, too, I suppose. Uh, maybe I'm being silly. You wouldn't think you could hate the sound of running water, would you? <laughs> Maybe it's me that has the problem. Doctor, I'm afraid of the sound of running water. Everyone's afraid of something, ain't they? Yes! <laughs> that was just like, wow. That was incredible. <laughs> Mark, that was great. Yeah, you, you aged like 55 years for a startup. That was this kind of raspy kind of, that was, it was like an a incredible animation voice there. That yeah, was so cool. it's, I, it was an animation voice without a shadow of a doubt. No, you started worked. the script really out worked. like someone I would be drinking a Bud Light with at the local pub, and then you went into like Midwestern factory worker to like middle aged dad from Arkansas. It was beautiful. <laughs> He ran the I think gamut. what you're saying politely there that it, it, it kind of wavered slightly. <laughs> well, yeah, well, it's you know, not your natural tongue, but it was perfect. True. I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> I quite enjoyed it. But I'm glad it's over. <laughs> Blimey. Okay. All right. Um, so, Sam, do you want to pick one for Scott? I will. I will. I will. <laughs> Actually, I want you to do your scripts. Both, both of them, if you wish, but certainly your scripts. And what you are is you are a um, <laughs> you're a teacher that, along with the rest of your class, have been trapped in your classroom. There's probably something really bad happening oh. outside, and you are trying to convince your smallest pupil to get to safety. Oh. <laughs> wow. No pressure or anything. No pressure. But you see, Scott, I can see how that works with remember some of the best times of your life haven't happened yet. Yeah. Yes. I, I yeah. can yes. see how that works. But yeah. oh, fascinating. Yeah. So okay, you, let's, you, let's try. You, you, yeah, you don't have to follow any of the, the patterning that you had before. You, you just, yeah. So that's what you're trying to convince him to get to safety. So if I'm trapped with students, I would be losing my mind. Let's keep that yeah. in mind here and yeah, yeah. scene. Yeah. Here we go. Yes. And Remember, scene. you little ungrateful brats, some of the best times of your life haven't happened yet. This is one of them. You can win $13,000 13 times a day with your little crayons, you stupid little students. Claim your share of a half million dollars next. Get off out of here. Wow, oh what a teacher. God. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting, expecting that. that. I don't like hanging with children, okay? I'm thinking I'm tell. getting that. I'm getting that. Absolutely. Wow. Oh, I love that. Oh, my God. That was so... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was convincing. Certainly convincing. Do you know what? I think that might be one of our best wild cards ever, Sam. I love <laughs> Genuinely. it. I love the fact that you took convincing brilliant. to a different level. Yep, absolutely brilliant. <laughs> well, I don't know quite how Sam's going to follow that. I'm not going to be able to follow that. So, um, but, but give me something. Give me something. I would like you to be a rather yes. prim and proper robot. Oh, robot. Hello. Okay. With which one? Uh, with your script, I think, because I, I, I think the, the monologue works with. I, I, I'm almost thinking female C3PO style. Not okay. Not oh, style yeah. necessarily, okay. but that kind of prim and proper esque. Okay. If that makes sense. Okay. Okay. She's a good mom. She's better with Sarah than I am. Much more patient. She'll read her the same bedtime story over and over and do all the voices as if it's the first time. Never seems to get sick of it, of it, of it, of it. It's nice. Nice to see her like that. Happy, uncomfortable like that. She's a good mom. She's a good mom. She can do no wrong in her eyes. A good wife too, I suppose. Maybe I'm being silly. You wouldn't think you could hate the sound of running water, would you? Maybe it's me that has the problem, Doctor. I'm 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 I I'm afraid of the sound of running water. Everyone's afraid of something, aren't they? Aren't aren't they? Aren't, aren't they? <laughs> that just got better uh, and better. Oh my god! Watch it! <laughs> watch out! Watch out, AI! Sam's coming for your job. Yeah, Sam is coming for your job. Exactly right. Wow! I love that. 
Really? I, it's really funny because by the time you got to she'll read her the bedtime <laughs> same bedtime story over and over I was completely invested in the character really and, yeah. and, and then the AI started to go slightly wrong slightly right <laughs> like, as it does as, as it, it does. does as it yes. does I love that <laughs> I, I would listen to that in audiobook form every single day <laughs> agreed <laughs> was Perfect. Well, if you want to play along in the privacy of your own booths, mm. in whichever way you want, we've put the scripts in the show notes so you can have a try yourself. Yes, absolutely. Please do. Now, look, our question this week for Scott, and we've touched on this a little bit already. So what do you see, Scott, as the major differences between the US and Europe in terms of different voiceover styles? Mm. I think you guys are, we've, a word that's popped up many times is contained. And I think you guys hold back a little bit more where Americans are more loud and in your face. And I think that's probably the difference between the two. Do you mm-hmm. think that's still the case? It always was the case. Do you think that's still as much now as it always was? Maybe not as much, but, but I think historically it has been. If there's the crossover, in other words, if you, uh, if, if, if Americans want to come to Britain and do voiceover work and vice versa, and you want to move between the two uh, places, as it were, and, you know, uh, Europeans want to go to America, etc. Do they, do you feel, need to embrace the styles that are there or stick to, or are they kind of being booked because of the style they bring? Yeah, I know. I think it's a little bit of both. I, you know, I think it's okay to embrace the style, but if you're being hired for your voice and your style, then absolutely yeah. stick with your yeah. style. That's your moneymaker. Yeah. But yeah, I think yeah, it's yeah. important to embrace the style in each country you're working in because you don't go in to rewrite the rules. That's absolutely. not part of our yeah. jobs. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So it's it's more about yeah, having that discussion and being aware of what they want you to bring in that particular instance, I suppose. You mentioned earlier on, Scott, that cracking the UK market is an ambition of yours in in promo and and imaging. Do you think it's more difficult for a US voice to crack Britain than a British voice to have an opening in the US? Absolutely. 100 percent. Because, again, as Americans, we like to hear British voices. We love that. That's something that in promo, uh, if we can get someone from the UK to read a script, it's like, get me that guy. Now, not for everything, of course, but a lot of stations use voices from the UK in imaging because it just sounds so proper and exciting and foreign (laughs) and, and, and awesome. Um, so I think that's the difference. Do they want archetypal British, what they think British is, or do they want what Britain is doing? Um, authenticity. I, I think authenticity yeah. is is the most important thing. So I, you know, it doesn't yeah. really matter what part of the country someone's from, because mm-hmm. just like in America, different parts of of your country, there are different uh, dialects that are spoken. Uh, you know, regional dialects, so yep. to speak, and and we have that in America too. Um, yep. So it doesn't really matter as long as it's authentic, because I think authenticity is the key to what we do for a living. I agree absolutely. In, in both countries, actually, authenticity is is the is the most important thing. I think. Yeah. So, for instance, a Manchester accent or a Cardiff accent or a Norfolk accent might still work in the US market as opposed to what we think of standard RP British. Yeah, I I absolutely think so, because let's go back to a moment ago when you were doing the script, when I said Southern American (laughs) accent. Uh, that was your interpretation of I'm what a Southern American <laughs> accent is. Not necessarily authentic. Definitely not authentic. Yes. The same with the American Southern accent. Even in America, people get that one wrong. Um, so if someone's casting a Southern American accent, they want authenticity, not what mm-hmm. someone imagines a Southern American accent would sound like. So authenticity is key, I think, in everything we do. Thank you so much, Scott Chambers. Thank Thank you you so much for coming on to the podcast this week. Honestly, it's been such a revelation in so many different ways. Samantha and Mark, thank you so much for having me. This has truly been the best time I have ever had on a podcast. This (laughs) was so much fun. You know what? I want everyone to say that. That's all good. That's all good. Uh, All of Scott's details can be found in the show notes and we'll also be putting today's scripts in the show notes so that you can have a read yourself. Yes, indeed. So please like and subscribe to the podcast so you never miss a wonderful episode and feel free to give us a review if you want to. 
Okay, that's it for this week. Thanks again to Scott Chambers, and we'll be back next week with more scripts and another voiceover guest when we'll be asking, and this is where we do it all together, Scott, the title of the show. Are you ready? How, How do you say that? How do you say that? How do you say that? that?